Hello, this is the Trade Site U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Thursday, February 8th and Friday, February 9th, 2018. Hope you have a good week going here. It's more of a measuring day, a pretty narrow day on uh, Wednesday, which is fine after the sell-off. Very common, you get a couple-day pause. Uh, again, that doesn't mean the bottom's in or anything like that. Got a lot of people that will try to buy at the dip. And buying that first dip a lot of times after a sell-off like that ends up being a big mistake. So let's just see what we get to here over the next few days. As usual, we do not do a separate market preview for Fridays. Most of the week's played out unless something major happens Thursday, and then in which case maybe we would. So we're going to look at the economic data that's coming out. We'll look at the charts here for the intraday action, and then we'll just go from there. Crude oil uh, down 22 cents to 61.57. That 13 sell signal right on the money there on crude oil. Gold up a buck twenty, which doesn't really matter. Still operating under the thirteen sell signal. The S and P cash index down thirteen forty eight, so a decent decline. Most of it, the sell off was as you'll see, was late in the day. I mean, the rest of the day was pretty tame. Nasdaq one hundred down eighty three point nine six. The Sox was down twenty nine point one six. This is going to be interesting to watch this twelve twenty area on the Sox if we head lower. Uh, to break that, that's a lot of trouble. Biotechs are up a point. And that's basically a blip on the biotechs. The VIX down 225 after hitting. Uh, that's the uh, regular VIX, cash VIX, hit uh, over 40 on Tuesday, got up to 48. Remember, over 40 is usually the oversold reading, but you can get above that for several days and close and then really be oversold. Trend 1.51, that puts the 10 day at 1.26. NASDAQ volume 2.3 billion. And that's the client ratio. Uh, plus 332 on the uh, NASDAQ, plus 169. So a few more stocks up than down. And again, the sell-off was very late in the day. Google loses $29.02. Apple loses $3.49. Amazon loses $26.06. Remember, we've got that 13 sell signal in place there. Netflix down a buck 16. Tesla up $11.03. TLT, the 20-year bond ETF, down to... New lows for the year down at down 1.14. Goldman Sachs loses a buck 60. Here's a quick look at the five minute chart so you can see the economic, or I'm sorry, see what the intraday action was. It doesn't look like much here. I mean, again, a very flat day compared to what the prior two were. Uh, basically open flat. We went up a little bit, traded about uh, 40 points of range, 40, yeah, 40 points of range with some good winners and futures. It's been a great week for futures trades. Oh my gosh. Uh, and then uh, and then you can see a very late late dip late in the session. Here's the NASDAQ side. Again, a little more negative late in the session. Uh, futures are showing down for tomorrow as I do this. Now let's take a look at the economic data that's coming out this week. So we've got uh, unemployment claims. It's the weekly number, the, the initial and continuing claims. An hour before the bell on Thursday. Natty Gas an hour into the market. Got the 10-year bond, 30-year bond auction. We had the 10 yesterday. 30-year bond auction on Thursday at 1.00. And then Friday, the only number is the uh, final wholesale inventory. So there's not a lot of data left. It's just pure trading in the markets. Obviously, there seems to be the potential of a deal in place uh, with the government budget and the Senate coming to a joint, uh, joint, uh, joint deal between the parties. We'll see if that can get through everybody, get passed so we don't have another government shutdown. Obviously, there's a lot of other situations with this new budget deficit and the tax bill. Um, but at any rate, we can deal with that later. For now, uh, we'll see if the week goes out stable or if we roll over one more time. I, do, I don't think we've seen the bottom, by the way, or anything near it, but we'll see what happens. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple weeks. Have a great trading Thursday, Friday, and a good weekend.